Hi loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Morgan and today I'm going to be reorganizing my shoe closet. I had some shelves made by my carpenter because I ran out of space of course I'm a shoe hoarder. We all know that already. Nothing new here. So I also got a couple of shelves made for my bag closet as well but I think it will depend on how long this uh, shoe project takes me whether I do it in the same video or cut it and put it into the next video. I'm gonna show you the before and show you the new shelves and everything and we'll get started. This is the state of my shoe closet. Now, as you can see, things are shoved everywhere. I have my boots up here, but I've moved it into storage because my boots are things that I only use when I travel. So I need more shelves to fill up the space. And I think what my game plan is gonna be is like, heels on this side because this third section is slightly bigger than these two sections these two are the same size and it's just like this much bigger i love seeing people's like color-coded closets but that's not how i get dressed like i don't get dressed and think hmm i just want to wear a pink shoe first i think of function like do i need a sneaker today do i need a heel today do i want a mid heel do i want a flat so once I go through that process, then I think about the color. Because if I'm going to the mall, a pink heel is not gonna help me. I think it's more functional if I just do it by the style of shoe. And then within each style, I can either go by brand or by color. And I think we'll kind of figure that out as we go. Let me show you the new shelves. Here are the new shelves. There are two bigger ones for this like third row. And then there are six of the smaller ones. That's why I'm thinking the heels are gonna go here because they take up more height. So I'm not gonna need as many any shelves and I wanted to show you the full unit so this is actually four units that I have my carpenter put together to make one big thing it's attached to the wall for safety I will link the unit it's from a store called home center here in the UAE I got them several years ago but I recently sent the link to someone when I had shown my shelves I think in my story or on one of my photos or something and they were still available. I also wanted to show you, these are the little brackets that came with the original shelves. And these are the little brackets for the new shelves. Meeple's trying to eat it. Um, this one just goes in and then the shelf sits on top. It fits in the hole perfectly. So I don't mind that the hardware is slightly different. My carpenter found these um, to go with the shelves when he made them. So that is what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna pop you on a tripod now and I'm gonna take all the shoes down and organize them on the floor by category. Once I decide how I'm gonna do it within each category, either brand or color, I will update you and we'll keep going. So I just had a peek at the footage because I just wanted to make sure everything was like recording when I took everything off the shelves and I think my dress was a little bit see-through. So sorry if this is like a jump cut and now you're just gonna see all the shoes on the floor. I really wanna put my butt on the internet so I'll just show you the shoes, everything down. I'm gonna change my camera angle for the organizing portion of this video which is probably why you're all here and we'll just go from there. Here are all of my shoes laid out by category. I'll just go through them quickly with you guys. I have my high heels here, designer sneakers, my like sandals and casual slides, my midi heels, which I think might be my biggest category, or my flats, I'm not sure. My streetwear sneakers. My gym sneakers are actually kept in this little wardrobe here. This is where I keep my workout stuff. Here are my flats. Meatball, trying to eat something, of course. My slip-on sneakers wedges and espadrilles and my like daytime slides that are like not for the pool like my nicer slides that is everything I'm just gonna dust quickly i will be back to you shortly when we start organizing meatballs decided to join us sorry if this angle is a little weird i angled you so i could show you this process and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop some things at the top that I don't use very frequently. After that, I'm gonna go by style and then by color within each style. So yeah, I think that's gonna make the most sense. I'm sure some of this will change a little bit as we get into it, but yeah, here we go. Let's start with these guys. These are just some like older heels that I've had forever. These are from when I used to work at Betsy Johnson in New York. And these were one of my first pair of designer shoes. They're Miu Miu. I found them at Nordstrom Rack for $99. I was in 
college at the time and I didn't have a big designer collection then and I was so thrilled because like I would have never been able to get a pair of Mimus at that time so yeah I keep these because these are just such a memory Sophia even like chewed them up when she was a puppy and I got them like fully repaired like she took the strap off but I don't wear them often but they're really sentimental which I know you're not supposed to keep a lot of those kind of things around but I like them so I'm keeping them but they're just gonna go in the top can see it at the top but I wanted to mention like with the shoes I stagger them like this they can't fit one behind the other so I can get more pairs if I do it like this rather than like this so I'll show you that close up later but I'm just gonna get into organizing for now a lot of my black heels are going at the top I have three pairs that I love and that are gonna go lower down but these Louboutins when I got the pointed toe Valentinos I don't wear these as much but they're such a nice shoe 1920s ish style so I've kept them and then these are heels and then they like lace up the leg as well so they're like a task to get on so these are definitely not something that I just go, oh, I'm going to wear that. Like, I plan my outfit when I'm going to wear this. So they can go up in the top. First shelf is done, and it was already at the correct height. So I'm sure we're going to have to move some shelves around, add a few in as we go. But right now, I think we are good to just continue. The next shelf, this one here, I can actually reach the shoe on my tiptoes. So I can start putting the shoes that I want to use more frequently. And since it's all black at the top, I think I'll just continue with my black heels and then create like a color rainbow going down. Another thing is I always do up the buckles because I think it just makes the shelf look so much nicer when the, everything's done up. Yes, it's more of a pain when you go to put them on, but I just think it looks so much nicer. I think I'll pop out the next shelf and move it up because I need to fit in these heels and they're quite tall because they have this thing that go up the back so yeah I think I can just remove that and then move this one up teeny change of plans like I don't have really enough of every color so this next shelf ended up being my like Sophia Webster heels because three multicolored pair of heels are Sophia Webster so I just added the one pink pair. I'll just continue with pink and keep working my way down. This is not going as planned. I don't like the look of this nor do I like the functionality. Um, I think I need to pick a different strategy or rearrange these. I think it's wasting a lot of battery to try to film the whole process of doing this because I'm like arranging and rearranging. So I'm gonna go section by section and then show you. So at the top we have my like storage heels I don't use often. You can fit four pairs, but the numbers worked out perfectly to do three pairs on each shelf. So next I have my black ones. These are my newer Valentino ones that I love. These are like my going out Louboutins. I've had them forever. They're so beat up. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to like do like a trying on all of my shoes video or what you want to know about my shoes and stuff. And I'll do some more shoe videos because if I go through every pair, it's just going to be like too much. Then I have my multicolored heels here, um, some lighter pinks, darker pinks, and then blues. This is the first section done. I think I'm going to continue on with my wedges that are over here because they're also pretty tall shoes and I think they'll be perfect for this section. So now I've finished the bottom section. I switched my plan around. I put the wedges at the bottom because this bottom shelf is fixed. So the heeled wedges fit perfectly there and then I have like my like espadrilles, my like slides that I use when I go to the nail salon. And then some sandals. That is the first section completed and I think it looks very neat and orderly. Now we're gonna start on this section. I want my midi heels here where I can like reach them easily and see them. I might even do where my midi heels are like this kind of block section and I have more up things that I don't use much because my midi heels are what I use the most frequently. I've just come to the realization I don't have enough shelves. These, I could fit four across in some of these, but like if I put four of the wider ones, it would be a tight fit. But if I put, I can easily fit four of the pointy toed, like my Louboutins all together. So 
I've done my sneakers. I ended up deciding I wanted this all the sneakers in the middle, but um, I'm not gonna have enough room. Like, look at all of these groups of shoes. Now, this is grouped by color, but if I group them by like style, cause see like those are chunkier and like those are smaller, then I could probably make fewer groups. So I might have to go with that. I've also done it for the flats, and this is the issue with the flats. Like you can only fit two on a shelf because they're so wide, but like these like little throw-on flats, I had them put sideways and I had like six of them on one shelf. So I might still have to do one shelf like that and then just put my nicer ones displayed two by two. This is what I have left to put on there, all of that and all of these little heels. Between the new shelves and the spaces that are there, I have like 14 sections left. I need about 20 if I was going to keep them like color order like this. So I'm gonna have to, I think, move some things around and maybe it won't be just quite as perfect as I wanted. So that just made a ton more room. I just moved around my heels. I put my blue Pradas down here because they're basically sandals anyways. I put all my Louboutins on one shelf. I have some space to put some more things here. And then I have just like the rest of my heels here. I did like the taller like cage kind of styles here and then these that I just like love so much. So yeah, I don't have plans to get a whole lot more heels so I think I'm gonna move a few of the midi pairs over here, like more of the specialized middies that I don't wear as often because then it makes sense to go in this section because I don't reach for this section as much as I will. Oh, I forgot a pair. So I've gotta move these over. But after I do that, I think it'll make sense to just fill the rest of the shelf with some midi heels I don't use as much. And then up in the top, I have some more space for things that I don't use. As that took me forever. My plan pretty much went scrap. It looked really weird when I tried to do all the flats together in one section and then all of the like shorter heels in one section. So I decided to alternate those. So I will show you the final result. Now I did get rid of four pairs and I put like my slides that I literally only wear to the pool into like the nail salon in a basket away because they don't really need to be displayed. I only get them out for very specific purposes. I will show you the final result. And here it is, we're finally done. So I ran out of shelves or I would have probably done something else at the top. So I just put my boots back up there for now. I do have some shoes sitting in my London flat. So I have some glitter boots to go there and then these boots can go up over there later. And then I have some more ankle boots to put up here. But let me just show you section by section. So at the top we have some shoes I don't wear a whole lot, like these three sections. And then we get into my taller heels that are not really everyday shoes. And then I have my like sandals and like what I call utility flats, which are just like basic ballet flats, like just cheaper like Sam Edelman ones I've had for years. I have some slides and I put these like summer slides over here too because it kind of goes like either I wear something like that or a wedge so it kind of goes in the same category. I did pop these Prada heels down here because they just didn't fit with the other heels. And then if you come to the next section, I've got my boots up top and then I've got like designer sneakers and flats. I put the rainbow ones in this section because you'll see in this section I tried to make it more aesthetic like black and pink and neutrals. So those are over here. Plus I like them in the middle because I need to wear them more often. They're really unique shoes so they're hard to pair. And then at eye level for these two sections I tried to put my most worn shoes. So like my Gucci and my Chanel sneakers. I wear them all the time. These are probably my three most worn like midi heels. And then also these as well. So yeah, let me get back to this. I got distracted, sorry. All of my streetwear sneakers are in this middle section from top to bottom. I absolutely love this. As you can tell, Nikes are my favorite. And then I've got a couple of Pumas, some Adidas, and one New Balance, which I haven't even worn those yet. So I'm gonna see if I wear them or not. I might give them to my mom, I'm not sure. And then the last section, again at the top, some ankle boots and shoes I don't wear as much. I love these Chanel's, they're super pretty, but they're white, so I'm keeping them for a special occasion. 
so they're also popped up there with my more like fall colored midi heels because I don't really wear those a lot in summer. My pink sneakers, strappy midi heels, my two new Chanel shoes. I wanted them to have their own shelf because I really love them. Then, like I said a second ago, these are my like most worn midi heels. I have like my loafers. These are white patent Dior flats and I'm just afraid that the sun is gonna discolor them so I kept them in the dust bag because patent leather really is hard to take care of here in Dubai. And then in the bottom, what kind of inspired me alternating is this like little aesthetic corner. Because if you imagine a shoe photo here, it'll be really nice. I've got to find something to like cover this like crack here. But I think these shoes are nice here. I kept most everything in this section, like pink and black and neutrals and glitters. This makes for a nice aesthetic if I want to do like a corner photo over here. So yeah. That is the final look. I did store a few extra flats in the back corner, but for the most part, here is the new section all organized. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I have to do my bags on another day because I'm running out of daylight. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Comment down below any videos you want me to do related to shoes. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.